Ever wondered how to tell if your back pain is coming from your kidneys? Stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you never miss a new recipe or a new health tip. If you've ever woken up with back pain before, then you're not alone. 80% of people in the United States are estimated to have had back pain sometime in their life and 25% say they've had back pain in the last three months. Now, if you've watched my previous video, you know that most back pain doesn't come from the kidneys, but it comes from the musculoskeletal system instead. Yet there are some times when that back pain does come from the kidneys. And here are some clues to help you understand if that back pain is coming from the kidneys or from the musculoskeletal system. And then also some of the most common things that actually do cause kidney pain in those rare few cases where pain in the back is actually from the kidneys. My name is Dr. Blake Schuchman. I'm a board certified kidney doctor and I'm also the cooking doc and everything we talk about here is just information. This is not medical advice. Now there are some things that sometimes differentiate kidney pain from typical musculoskeletal back pain. So let's talk about those first. Kidney pain typically occurs up here under the rib on your back and it can occur on either side because most people are born with two kidneys. Kidney pain can feel sharp or dull and sometimes depending on the cause radiates from the spot of the kidney down into your lower abdomen or your bladder. Now musculoskeletal pain on the other hand usually occurs in just the lower back. Certainly it can occur in the mid and upper back in the spot of the kidneys but it is most common in the lower back. Musculoskeletal back pain is also more likely to go down the leg so it starts in your lower back and then kind of shoots down the leg and also has more of a tendency to hurt more when you move around or try to pick something up or you know if you're one of those 80 percent of people in the united states that's woken up with back pain from your musculoskeletal system you know what i'm talking about now if you do have pain in your back and your doctor has determined it's coming from your kidneys the most likely etiology is kidney stones kidney stones form in the kidney and then sometimes have to squeeze out through the ureters, which is the tube that connects the kidneys to the bladder. Now those tubes are really tiny and they're not very flexible. So if you get a stone in there, it can hurt like crazy. And that can hurt all the way up from your kidney, again, down to the lower abdomen in your bladder. Sometimes that pain comes in spasms too, because the ureter, that little tube, sometimes tries to squeeze to get that kidney to move. And every time it squeezes, it can cause severe pain. If you're having pain like this from your kidneys or from somewhere else, it's very important to seek medical help. While kidney stones are the most common cause of kidney-related back pain, other things can do it. The kidneys can get infected, something called pyelonephritis. Most urinary tract infections stick down to the bladder, but every now and then they come all the way up to the kidney and that kidney can get inflamed. And an inflamed kidney is a painful kidney. Urinary tract infections that go up to the kidney may need to be treated with antibiotics, so please talk to your doctor if you feel that you've got those symptoms. Another thing that causes kidney pain is something called polycystic kidney disease. Now polycystic kidney disease is a disease that causes cysts to grow abnormally in the kidneys. Now people as they go older typically get some benign cysts in the kidneys that are nothing to worry about. But if you have polycystic kidney disease, you can get growth of ginormous cysts in the kidneys and the kidneys can become the size of a football. Now imagine having two football shaped kidneys hiding in your abdomen. That can cause a lot of discomfort. Those cysts also can rupture, and they can get infected. So polycystic kidney disease has a lot of different ways in which it can cause pain in the kidneys. Now remember polycystic kidney disease is not the same as a benign cyst in the kidneys. Benign cyst in the kidneys is totally different than somebody who has polycystic kidney disease. And benign cysts, especially smaller ones, are unlikely to cause you any pain. Those benign cysts may be a centimeter. A cyst with polycystic kidney disease may be up to 10 centimeters or even greater. The last thing that sometimes causes kidney pain is a kidney injury. So if you're in an accident or playing football and your kidney gets knocked, you can get bleeding around the kidneys. And that inflammation and increased pressure is what causes pain. Now, if you have pain in your kidney from an injury, I hope that you are seeking medical attention. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you learned something about back pain and as it's related to the kidneys. Most pain in your back is not from your kidneys, but kidneys do rarely cause pain in the setting of things like infection or polycystic kidney disease or trauma or kidney stones. Make sure you talk to your doctor, your primary doctor, your urologist or your nephrologist if you want to learn more about kidneys and kidney pain and really 
figure out whether or not your pain is from your kidneys. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, click that bell, share it on social media, and go over to my website, thecookingdoc.co. I have lots of healthy recipes and more information videos about kidney stones and chronic kidney disease and everything kidney related. We'll see you next time.